hallway. What's that thing from? We pulled up an our roads out and we got out the car and Chris opened the boot and you'll never guess what he's done. So my mum and her boyfriend Chris were coming down south to see me on a little getaway. Chris said he was arriving at mine at six o'clock and then he turned up at 20 to six, which caught me off guard. Chris, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm not ready yet. We're there for two nights. I've got to be prepared. All my underwear, my pyjamas, my Gucci handbag, my nice blouses and my jeans, the je jeans that fit nice. Going out clothes, clothes that you just wouldn't wear on, on a normal day. Get out. Just go. I nearly forgot to pack me nipples. Chris, don't you dare touch them bodies. They're for road trip. <laughs> All packed and prepared. Hiya, Lou. We'll be there in about five hours. Mm. Oh, crack a window, Chris. Have you pumped? As soon as he opened the boot and he took his case out and then I went to get my case out, I just couldn't believe it. Where's your case, Chris? And he said, that's it. And pointed to um, the hold all. Just got me hair dryer in. As soon as it, it wasn't visible, I knew straight away that he hadn't put it in, all because I'd said, I'm not ready yet. Oh, my clothes. <sighs> and then I, I looked down to see what I was wearing, but I was wearing a dressing gown. Look at wear this all weekend, can I? Oh, I'm going funny. Oh, I'm going funny. I was too in shock to be angry. <sighs> no crap. It was definitely Chris's fault. We knew he had a suitcase, he'd seen the suitcase, but then when we left, he didn't put the suitcase in the car. How did you feel when you saw that your case wasn't there? Extremely sad. Oh, oh, oh. Bereft, crying. Come on, Let, let's, we'll go to our star. The solution for, for me was just to go down to Asda and buy some cheap clothing. It's only worse cheap tackle. I'm not going to flip in Asda. I want to go to Asda for new clothes. I wanted my clothes. I can't even get jeans that, that fit right. At, well, I don't know. I've never tried jeans from Asda. All my clothes are little one-off gems from charity shops. We're going back for him, Chris. Wasn't really up for that idea. Uh, but I suppose in the back of my mind, I thought, well, uh, maybe that's what we're going to have to do. All I remember was Chris screaming and shouting and swearing. And I was the one that had no case. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Lou, we won't be there tonight anymore, love. You'll never guess what Chris has gone and done. When my mum first phoned me, I literally thought someone had died. And then she told me the case situation. Well, I want him to go back without me, but I don't think he'll let me. I don't think he would have gone back without me. <laughs> so did you want him to? Well, that would have been nice. People would say that you might have been responsible for your own case. <laughs> but Chris packed the car. I didn't put anything in. What a way to spend my birthday. And it was Chris's birthday. We were going to a nice restaurant. It's a bit mad to drive all the way back and then all the way back again. Well, everybody I've spoken to said they would do the same. <laughs> you can't buy a Gucci handbag for Mazda, can you? thing is the story isn't even over so eventually we got to go for a nice meal and then the next day I couldn't find my car keys and my house keys anywhere I was proper stressed a few days later I get a call from my mum hey Lou I've got something to tell you I don't know how your keys got into my bag especially when I didn't even have my own keys oh bloody Chris must have picked them up you're gonna have to drive them back down here <laughs> you're having a laugh 